Du 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 du. Hello, hello, show. Woo. Hindi ako malipat ginawa. Ano ba? Para ra para. Welcome to mix number eleven, yeah. our second Woo. double digit episode mix. Welcome to the show. My name is JC. My name is Rika. And we are radio DJs at Monster RX 93.1. And we are podcasters here on the Halo Halo Show. Yep. If it's your first time here, welcome. We have, welcome, welcome. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit about it. And also, we highly recommend you check out mixes one through, well, I guess 10, 10 now. But it doesn't yes. really matter where you start off. Yeah. Sure. But uh, tell them a little bit about the show. Okay, so we're called the Halo Halo Show because we basically talk about anything and everything under the sun. Mm-hmm. And we have, we we start off by talking about what happened through the week, like our weeks. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's very different from uh, between me and JC. And yes. then we also have the TTs. They're called the <laughs> TTs. Well, JC has it. <laughs> I have one of those. I, I don't, so... I only have it through the podcast. That's true. You got that <laughs> so, big TT energy. I got a big TT energy. <laughs> um, so it's called TTs because it's uh, the trending topic. So whatever trended over the week, you know, whatever it is mm-hmm. uh, people talked about, like trended on Twitter, Facebook, or whatever. Yep. And then we have got us a question. Oh. Okay. So everything is... Um, Uh, focused on the halo halo, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so basically, we uh, we halo-halo. answer a question or maybe a couple questions depending on how much time we have from uh, you guys, our listeners, our ube babes and leche fans. Uh, so before we get into weekend review, just a little teaser. Our TT for today, just uh, we're gonna talk about the the basketball game. If you missed yeah. it, it was last week. Well, if you're listening to this now, it was last week, last mm-hmm. Wednesday. Three uh, games happened yeah. throughout the week, and yes. it was very, very exciting. Okay, so let's get right into the week in review. Rika G, what did you okay, do? Okay, I'm, I'm going to start. Okay, okay so a lot of do? things happened last week, okay. or this weekend actually. Last weekend, I went to Batangas, and it's called the Bali of Batangas because they had like the Bali swing and like the net. What's the name of the place? It's called Villa Jovita. It's in... Agoncillo, Batangas. Agoncillo, Batangas. And initially, I thought it was the beach. Okay? okay, so don't you know? Don't come at me okay. <laughs> because I said it was the beach, and I didn't really know uh, where I was going because, like, you know, my friends uh, actually um, they they took care of it, mm. and I was just like, I'm gonna hop in the car and go to Batangas. Nice. So when I when we went there, parang it was ano pala, a resort, and then they had like this full like full on Instagram area. Okay. So it's like the Bali swing which is super Instagrammable, right? Um, If you guys then, don't know what that is, what, what do they search? I think you just search Bali swing. Yeah, right? you, search, you just search it's Bali like that swing. It's like square or not rectangle yeah, swing. Yeah, rectangle swing. And it's like you're getting pushed into mm-hmm. nothing. By like a person. There, yeah, there's like, there's no, yeah. it's like it's wide like open. You're at the edge of a cliff mm-hmm. and then you get pushed by this strong person okay. <laughs> from the resort. And there's then no basically, safety, you know? they no, have actually, they okay. have a, what do you call that? Harness? A harness. Okay. But then they actually just set up a new one in that certain resort. Villa Jovita, a new one which didn't have the harness, so we didn't ride that one because <laughs> we were yeah, scared. Yeah, But scary. they don't push you that hard on that other swing. So okay. the first swing where you have the harness, you go really high up, and it's super scary, but also so fun. Because um, I don't know with Bali because I've I've never been there, but with this one, you're like overlooking a farm slash agricultural area, mountains and everything. So that was really nice. Okay. And then they had like other Instagrammable stuff there, like yung mga parang multicolored pillows where you can just like you know like have fun, ganyan. And they laugh. have that 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 nest. Yeah, the thing, nest right? thing where you can go in and then parang parang ano. Bird so how do they? Uh, if you search you on Instagram, what's the place? The one here. Villa Jovita. Jovita. That's it. J O V I T A. Just go pull up your Instagram right now. Search that. Uh, the nest thing. Yeah, I've they seen have the nest. Lot. Yeah, they have the nest thing na parang flat, and then they also have the the circular. What do you call that? Yeah, where people yeah. sit there and they they do their you pose. can like hang there. Mm-hmm. They have other stuff also, which is super. Was it expensive? No, How actually. Much was it? How much was it? I think uh, we got the the what do you call this? We got the Nipa Hut and then the all access pass for the three of us for like three something. For one day. Per for day, two, per night. for an overnight um, Three, access, so a little over 1,000 pesos each. Yeah, and then obviously you just have to bring your food, or you can buy food there. But yeah. the problem, well, there was one problem with that uh, resort because it was super open, it's just like in the mountains and everything. Mm. Um, when it was nighttime and you open your your lights, a lot of the gamu I don't gamu-gamu? know, I don't know what you call. It. It's like uh, uh, yung ants na may wings. 
Okay. Yeah, gamo gamo. Okay. Yeah, um, they you mean all mosquitoes. Go... No, no, no. <laughs> Ants with the wings. No, gamo gamo. Okay, okay. With the wings. Okay. No, that's just ayun yung alam ko eh. Para parang I don't I really don't know what it's called. So do you need to bring insect repellent? No, no, no nga eh. It's just Apakita. you can't avoid it. It really happens. Like, dun sa parang canteen area nila. We hmm. were eating there, and then at one point, asin nagkaroon ng swarm of gamo gamo guys. Like Which one? Gamo-gamo. yung because like pag isang gamo-gamo lang or like just like a like onting mga five ganun parang okay lang but when it's like ang dami talaga like I felt like it was hundreds kadiri na siya yung parang hindi mo na kaya mm. it's like going inside my bikini alam mo yung sa shorts ko it's Puma- like pumasok sa bikini mo yeah ganun siya kadami what? we were like swarmed with a lot of ano gamo-gamo so hindi namin naubos yung dinner namin we didn't even like have fun ng dinner time so oh. we suggest na, like, wag niyo na lang i-on yung lights in that area because, like, it's so prone to the gamo-gamo thing. Flying termites? Is that what that is? I don't know. That's what it says Ugh, on Google. I'm I don't know. just talking about it. And if you saw it, it's like, a swar- like, sobrang dami yeah, talaga. Yeah. That's scary. Like, it's a cloud. So, but, like, other than that, it was great. It had, like, shower areas and it had, like, natural pools, I think, or something. And then there was a river which, you, actually, you can't swim in the river oh. because it's flowing, obviously. But, um, ang ganda ng mga photo area nila doon. It's cool. really, really nice. I'm gonna post some soon. I know people, like, give me flack for not posting photos because I don't post that much. I've been posting a lot lately. I know, right? Like, I, I should post because uh, it's, like, really, really good Instagram photos. So, there. Uh, we went there. Um, and then, uh, when I got back here in Manila, I just had dinner in my parents' house. And then, I went to Reese's birthday. Yeah, we went to uh, Reese, our friend Reese from the yeah. foodie station. Follow the foodie station yeah, on Instagram. The foodie station. Uh, yeah, we we hung out at Joy Nostalgia. They had a, it's like a what do you call it? Like a condo hotel. I actually don't know. Yeah, it's like a serviced hotel or yeah. something like that. You have a full kitchen. You can even bake there. It's really cool. So we. What kind of ano to mera dun or something, di ba? I don't know. I don't know. Super. Yeah. Actually, a lot of people who live there are usually like expats. expats yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, just moving into, I guess, my weekend review. That's what started my week and last. Oh, week. actually, I'm not done. Oh, you're not done? Yeah. Oh, go. <laughs> a lot of things happen. Go. <laughs> yeah. So so we had the the we went to the birthday thing. I was actually really late, um, but yeah, they had like were. a lot of food. Better later na Avalon, kasi eh pa si JC. <laughs> anyway, so after that Monday morning. I actually had a gig. Um, I, um, I I'm a guest makeup artist for Mac Cosmetics, oh, yeah. so I signed up for that gig, which is the Randy Ortiz um, fashion show. It was a big deal. A lot of people were Isn't there. Randy Ortiz a wrestler? Mm-mm. I think it's Tito. <laughs> no, who's Randy? Or- okay, who- tell me about Randy okay, Ortiz. He's a fashion designer, and he's been in the industry for thirty years now. And they celebrated his thirty years with that. Iconic fashion show. And the cool thing about that fashion uh, show Randy is... Randy Orton pala. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Randy Orton, he's a... He's a, he's a fashion, fashion designer. Okay. okay. And then the cool thing is, because he's been in the, in the industry for a long time, he had like a lot of uh, his um, muses and models. Okay. Na ngayon, they have children already. So he got the children of his former muses to walk the runway this time. How old are they? They, like, kunwari, teenage? sila Juliana Gomez. Kasi... I don't, I don't know who that is. Si, ano, si Lucy Gomez and Richard Gomez. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's sila daughter. before would, you know, wear Randy Ortiz's... Um, how do you say that? Randy Ortiz's... Um, Randy <laughs> Ortiz's uh, clothes. Design, yeah. designs. Yeah, designer okay. clothes. And then now that they have a child, they got the the kid to walk down the runway this how time. How old's the kid? I think... Like teen, teenager? Sir, 17, ah, parang okay. 16. So, parang, old, I mean, yeah. grow, looking grown up. Oh, yeah, yeah, parang ganon. And then they also have like Kyla Estrada there. So oh, I the, love Kyla Estrada. Yeah, yeah, she was there. So parang obviously <gasps> like her parents also. Why didn't you tell me Kyla Estrada was there? Yeah, and then she was really nice. Like, That's my goal parang, for her to follow me on Instagram, Kyla Estrada. So shout out Kyla Estrada. I love anyway, Kyla Estrada. So she was can you there. guys tweet her or can you guys message her to follow me on IG? It's desperado much. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> She is. She was super cute. And like, alam mo yung parang super quiet lang na parang, you'd think na parang, di ba? I'm gonna pull up nga, a selfie of her in the bathroom where she takes it. Like, you can see yeah, a toilet seat yeah. in the back. But it's, but it's still so cool. So cool. Right. <laughs> anyway, um, so yun, um, Kyla Estrada was there and like other, like yung mga art, anak ng artista, they walked down the runway for that night and it was really cool. There was some drama. But, oh, I'm I just, know. I'm trying to read the photo. Look, oh, there's God, a tita yeah. kita yung CR. Pero, 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 
are yeah. those abs? Okay. Anyway, um, there was some drama that went on that night, but I'm not going to discuss it because I think I'm not allowed to. Because you're professional. Yeah, I'm not yeah. allowed to. But some drama went on last night, that night, and was, I was like shocked because it was my f- only my second fashion show and my first fashion show with Mac. So, okay. alam mo yung parang na ako na, ay, ganito pala dito. Okay, next time, I know how to handle myself and everything. Was it, uh, you think, something that happens uh, regularly at uh, fashion shows? Kind of. Uh, kind of. Anyway. Siguro mga wardrobe or something. Tapos, I'm just guessing. I don't mm. know. And then, um, I was really super duper stressed that day, but also so happy. Like, I really enjoyed my time. And like, even though, alam mo yung parang stress happy. Yeah. Yung even though... Um, it's fulfilling, right? Yeah, it's fulfilling. And I learned a lot from our key makeup artist. So, hello, Miss Myrene. If you're... <laughs> someone's Shout listening, out, you know, Miss Myrene. Miss Myrene. <laughs> Miss Myrene Santos. She's really, really good. Cool. And then, um, alam mo yung parang you could really see because... Because obviously, starting pa lang ako. And mm-hmm. you could see, like, katabi ko yung mga key makeup artists. That's and true. You could really see the skill that they have. Yung talagang iba talaga sa akin. Do you ask them to teach you? Yeah, or if, you don't, or you just observe? Or you um, actually ask them We the have technique? a workshop in the morning for the peg. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, throughout the day, you could just ask questions. Kasi parang, in the end, kayo din naman yung malalagot That's if you true. don't help each other. So, ganun pala yun, there's a workshop. Yeah, there's a workshop at first. That's common for... Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. I didn't know so, that. So, usually ganun. Um, Obviously, kapag kunwari beauty lang, ganun. Siguro parang tips na lang tips or lang. something. But for that certain fashion show, talagang nag-workshop May mga yun. ano, color scholars. Yeah, we had like the paper and everything. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, it was really, really super nice. But the thing is, I didn't get to eat for 12 hours. Why? For 10 hours. I forgot, number one. Number two, we... You late na, na Yeah, I forgot to eat kasi parang ang dami. You're we so busy. 70 models for 30. You're gonna eat, You don't get dizzy. No, I got dizzy at the end. Alam mo yung parang because of the rush, mm. parang hindi ko na na-feel and then at the end, parang ako nag-crash and then I had a fever. Oh, that's after. your fault. I know, I had a fever and then alam mo yung parang, anyway, it was my fault. So next time, I know na parang I should, you know, ba on something. And then the next day, I still had a fever tas nakalimutan ko na mas na maaga pa yung call time ko for a hosting. Hosting, that's right, you had a hosting. Right? I had a hosting, so that, that happened. Nalita ko ng onte, but good no. thing. No, 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 good thing. I was really good friends with the coordinator, so parang naintindihan naman niya. Yeah. And then I was super Filipino duper. Time. I know, right? No, so this is my excuse. Yes! Well, <laughs> no, no, no. It, actually, sense. walang excuse. Kasi, ang sinabi niya sa akin, 8:30 yung call time. Okay. And then, ang naki ang na-register ko, sabi nga, 8.30 call time, 9 yung simula. Okay. Mag, ang nag-register sa utak ko, 9.30. Ah, uh, okay. I've because done that, that before. Because of that, you know, confusion. Okay. So, buti na lang, tinawagin niya ako at 7.30, sabi nga, are you on your way? I'm like, um, no po, you said 9.30 call time. Sabi nga, no, 8.30. Oh, God. Eh, good thing it was just in uh, Green Hills. Okay. That's like, what, 20 minutes away? Depends. But so, it was morning, so may yeah. traffic. No, actually, in my dress, nag-angkas ako. Nah. <laughs> Thank you, angkas! You are the best. Like, super lifesaver <laughs> talaga. Like, gusto ko na i-hug si kuya, pero alam ko inappropriate. So, parang ako, angkas. okay. So, yeah, alam mo yung in my hosting dress, naka-angkas ako, pero wala akong pake. Ano yun? You, nakabuka yung legs mo? Yeah, kasi mahaba naman yung dress. Ah, okay. So, so okay uh, lang. Yeah, naka-shorts ako sa loob, and okay. I was wearing flats first before the event. So, yun. I got there on, on time-ish. I've never taken angkas, so I'm feeling yeah. like I'm just wondering. Also, ano yung... it depends on the motorcycle. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, sometimes it's like sometimes the it's, motor Sometimes it's slim. Sometimes it's a little fat. Ano mo yun? Like the wider ones? The, yeah, the <laughs> fat. Wider the ones. The thick ones? <laughs> the thick the, ones. With girth? So, <laughs> so yun. And veins? I mean, yung mga cords. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so yun. Um, I get to, um, you know, parang experience that. It's actually a What? paperless um, bank. Oh, okay. So it's like super, lahat ang daming screens, may mga, ano, may mga laptops, may That's mga computers. Cool. You don't have to print out anything. Oh, can we just talk about banks real quick? Mm. I hate waiting in line for I banks. I know, right? I think you know, I've tweeted about this. Oh, they're so, no, the thing Were you the me, one who told me na parang, I don't, you don't, like, no, I don't know why people line up for deposit yeah, or something. There's a it, d- machine for that or something. No, I, I, it wasn't me. But okay. I know there's ways to deposit like without going to the whatever. To the bank, yeah. But sometimes the, here they really want to, yeah. because it, it's, they're, they're so it's afraid of money. being scammed, uh-huh. blah, blah, blah. Oh, the thing that really makes me mad is that they, the tellers, I don't know, I'm not, I, don't, I hope I don't, I'm not 
mis, mis, just misjudging mm-hmm. them. They seem to have no sense of urgency. Mm, kind of. They're yeah. just like chilling. Yeah. They're just, like talking to each other and shit while there's a huge mm-hmm. line. And then there's other people on the side. I don't know if they can help us. I don't. Maybe they have other Sometimes. stuff. Sometimes. But I'm, I feel like they can. Yeah. I feel like they can just take maybe five minutes, mm-hmm. help out, just kill the line. Because right. when when I worked in the, the theater before, the, the, the goal was to, to kill the line so that you right. can get back to doing, yeah. you know, whatever else you were doing. So if there's a huge line, mm-hmm. we would stop what we were doing and we would help out. We'd hop on a register. Right. I feel like that... I feel like they should just do that. I know. Anyway. Like, I feel the same way because actually... And like this... work. Like, not, not be chica chica yeah. and like laughing and shit. And there's just one certain bank um, near us. Yeah. Um, a mall near us. And then sa kanila, when there's a really, really long line, because it tends to have like a really long uh-huh. line, because a lot of people go there for their, yung mga, yeah, for, dito, their for their businesses. pay, yeah, ganon, business. yung mga salary. Yeah. Ano, yung mga people on the side, on the computers, they help na. So I think they can. They can. I, so no, to all I, the I'm people, almost positive that they yeah. can. They just don't choose not to. Yeah, to all the people like who work in banks, who, who listens to us, who listen to us. Maybe they can give yeah, us. Yeah, can other you like side. give us an idea of like how it works? You so know, I'm not. Maybe too... there's like a certain account that you can just you know handle yeah. or something. Or maybe they're really busy working on other stuff. The thing I don't like is just their attitude. I, oh, I feel I, like I, I feel like it's their attitude. Yeah. But uh, maybe I'm just judging based on what I see yeah, because I don't maybe. like the lineup. So blah, blah, blah. maybe. Okay. So yeah. Um. So they opened that new super Whatever. super intelligent. It's called the save PNB Savings Bank Connect. Okay. And then they're like, you know, yun nga, parang super intelligent, digital technology kind of thing. That's cool. Yeah, it's super cool. And I get to meet their like board of directors and everything. Like all of the important people. I feel like we're falling, at least we're moving into the future, especially with like, you know, mga uh, cashless payments and yeah, whatever. Because in the States, that's kind of already normal now. Yeah. Like people don't really carry cash. People mm-hmm. just use their cards. Their cards and or phones. They, yeah, or they there's something called... Like, like um, a QR Code I don't know then there's something called shit, what's the name of that app in the states where you can pay your friends what yeah yeah fuck I forgot what it's called what is it no no uh, I keep thinking Pedro's what's popping into my mind <laughs> Ni Pedro, eh. <laughs> Ni Pedro. Venmo, Venmo Venmo Ah, Venmo, Venmo. it's ah. so it's super easy as in let's say you go to lunch mm. and then you your bill is ten dollars mm. but your your friend doesn't have cash so you pay ten dollars someone your friend or you pay ten dollars in cash mm. he'll Venmo you five bucks. What? And, it's, and it goes to your bank account. You can deposit it. And there's no charge or anything. What? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, cool. Uh, so I, I hope we could have that here. Because, yeah. like, you know. You can also deposit checks through your phone in the state. Some, some bank. You yeah, you just take a picture of it. Picture? Yeah, and deposit it. And what do you do with the check? No, no, I think you're done now. Whoa. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's, there's, the technology is so advanced. I know, right? Uh, so I hope so we maybe reach that like, level. I know. Maybe we're like one step closer. We're closer. This kind I think of band. definitely we're diba? closer. Mm-hmm. So it was a really cool experience because I get to see all the important people of mm. that company, that certain company. Tapos parang ako, sabi ko nga, ginudyo ko yung kasama ko dun. Sabi ko, dapat nga chichikahin ko si ano eh, Mr. Michael Tan. <laughs> no, but yeah, and the president, uh, the president of the actual bank. Really? Is really nice. As okay. in, like talagang, nag-thank you pa siya sa akin. I, I was like, no sir, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for your money. You call him daddy. Thank you daddy. No. <laughs> that would be super awkward. Uh, yeah, and then after that, that's it. That's you know, it. That's I just it. I had a fever, and you know, I had okay. to, I had to be like, I had to sleep. Actually, parang hindi nga eh. Parang, Are you feeling better now? Yeah, I was forced to sleep. Alam mo yung parang sa yeah. sobrang lanta na ako parang okay. You have then, to. Sometimes your body just needs yeah. a rest. And then I watched the UAAP game yesterday with That's Kara right. in her apartment. <laughs> Which we'll talk about in the TTs. Yeah, uh, TT. Me, real quick, I'm just going to work backwards. I watched Creed 2 last night. Ooh, oh, Creed. it's so good. It makes me want to work out. Well, last night lang. And then I woke up this morning. <laughs> I like, I'm like, okay, it's cool. Meh. It's a great movie though. I highly recommend it. Uh, Michael B. Jordan is a sexy, oh, sexy man. But I know who's sexy there. Si Tessa the, Thompson? No. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> the, the, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw. Call, I wouldn't the, call him the villain, but the, the other boxer. The other boxer. Yeah. Oh, my God. I saw he an article. He is so yoked. He's so ripped. Oh and God. he's an actual boxer, and his, right? I, I don't know, but his, his nickname in at least when they in the credits, it's mm. Big Nasty. Wow! Wow! <laughs> he's a prove nasty it boy. to me. What I said, prove it. Yeah, Creed Two, uh, right. check that out. Because uh, I know the last time they really hired um, a professional boxer. Yeah, and yung kalaban ni ano ni, ni, Michael, ni Michael B. B. Or, yeah, it's a good it's a good movie. Some people are saying it's not that. as good as the first. I actually 
because I I like the original Rocky mm-hmm. franchise and it brings it back to Rocky I think four yeah that and so because you know it brings yeah, back yeah, yeah. Drago right so uh, I enjoyed it more than Creed. Diba din yung sounds at tun the end ba? Ano? Tun 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 di ba? No 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 it goes. Ani? Tun tun. No di ba yun ngayon? Ayon nga tama. Oh see. No but it's not, that's the Rocky song the. The, na, na, na. Anyway, yeah. anyway, yeah. So check out Creed Two. Uh, the weekend it was Reese's birthday, so uh, Rika and I, like she did mention, we stayed at Joy Nostalgia, and uh, we ate food there. But the the cool part of the evening was we played Ayoko. this game, this board. Well, it's a board game, but you don't really do much with the board. Yeah, it's called Avalon, which is similar to the game Resistance, mm. which also is kind of similar to that werewolf game, which yeah. I I don't know how to play. It's like more on tactics. Yeah, and, basically you know. you're assigned a character mm-hmm. and you try to guess who the bad guys are and who the good guys are. Yeah, uh, we it's it, it, we don't want to go into explaining it, but uh, oh, I used to play Resistance with my friends in okay. San Diego. So shout out to Loft Crew, Eileen, who's listening, maybe. But uh, yeah, we used to play Resistance and uh, Avalon is similar. But the long story short is you had to deceive each other, so we would yeah. lie the whole game. If you're a bad guy, you have to lie the whole game. So there was this one time we were both good. Yes. <laughs> but JC, like because, because of how he acted and how he was so invested in the because game. Because I wanted to win the game. Yeah. And I was trying to prove that I was good. And then Rika wasn't I wasn't thought he helping was her bad. case. But Rika wasn't helping her case because she didn't understand the rules. Oh, I think. excuse me. Yeah. What if that rules. was just my choice? Excuse Why would it be me? your choice to try to pretend you're bad? You're a good guy. <laughs> that was already the last. Only the bad part guys that, should pretend to be good guys. That was already the last part. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't game. matter. Anyway. You 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 have to understand at the last part. That's the only way you can win. <laughs> Are you crazy? Man. But ne, kasi I knew naman talaga na most of the people who had the, the crown thing, yeah. eh, the thing, okay. were good. That's okay. why I said like, sige, fine, accept na, even though I was in there. But grabe siya, asin akala ko bad siya. So I, I was thought like, Rico was. Bad. And I was even convincing other people na bad si JC. Bad. Si, why didn't you even tell me na? No, I'm good. I'm good. Hindi ka nag because it, the, I was trying to prove it mathematically that I was good. Yeah, and mathematically, because. <laughs> Avalon, na 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 tayo, ba? Did no, we win? Na tayo dun. Ay, shit. That's why, because you made us lose, Oy, dummy. Not me. Yeah, because not you voted me. no. You're supposed to vote yeah, if, in, 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 just to get the picture for the people who don't know how to play it. Uh, there are missions, right? Right. And if if for the last mission, all the good guys have to go on the mission. Or you lose. And no, Rika was a no, good no, no, guy, no, no, no. but she was still, saying she didn't want to go on the mission, which doesn't make any sense. I still believe talaga kasi na bad siya. Eh, di ba no, you were but part I'm of just, it? Uh, yeah, oh. but I'm just saying that that was our last boat. But, but anyway, still, no, people won't understand fault. what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's the game that ruins friendship. I know, right? Avalon. Like, there's two was. games. There's two games. Kasi. Avalon. Avalon. Yeah. And there's this game that I used to play with my friends who yeah. we know. Settlers of Catan. So it's something like that. No, no, it's different. It's a board uh, game. Talaga. That is my favorite. It is my favorite board game of all time. Of all time. It's I'm not really so into into board games, oh, but I whenever I it. whenever I play it, I enjoy it. Are there know? any Ube babes that play Settlers of Catan? Please tell me. I want to play with you because that game is the best. It's the like one of the most strategic games. Really? Uh, but it also requires trading, mm-hmm. but also like there's backstabbing. Oh, it's so Di kasi good. Ako eh. Yeah, so that's what we did for a week yeah. in review and uh, Rika did mention and uh, Rika did mention <laughs> yesterday. Uh, well, actually, throughout the week, but oh, yesterday uh, specifically. Excuse me, what? you missed one part of that. What? You know, stay at Joy Nostalgia. What happened? Inututan po ako ni JC. This disgusting she animal. W- she was in my <laughs> way. Ako yung palabas ni Babish. Yeah, but I was trying to go to the bathroom. Oh God! And then you were Asi, in my like, way. Asin like in nga ako dun sa <laughs> closet like, na para. <laughs> okay, moving on. Past is past. Uh, we watched the yesterday, and then throughout the week there were the U yeah. U A P U A P U A P U A P U A P U A P. They say U A P also. Yeah, U A P basketball, men's basketball. Uh, well, semifinals. So mm-hmm. uh, yesterday specifically was the Adamson. I know blue birdies. I know blue. <laughs> In the eagle like Falcons. Falcons, 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 Falcons. <laughs> no There are birds too. Blue birds. <laughs> and the uh, maroon yeah. saw, right? Blue uh, and blue. Uh. Blue and red. Maroon. So the UP fighting maroons. 
and it was a good game. I know, game. it was a really good game. And like, U- uh, Rika, of course, from UPLB. Yeah, so me so and Kara, we watched together. Yeah. You know, because sh- their team sucks. Do you what? guys have a team? Does UPLB even have a basketball team? No, they team? have a basketball team, but they don't compete they don't in compete. the UAAP. NCAA. And the other ibang ibang league. league. Okay. Yeah, ibang league. So anyway, so I watched with Kara and uh, Pao. Uh, her yeah, boyfriend. Yeah. Tapos parang as in stress As of this stress. recording. Joke lang. Uh, oh, <laughs> Don't siya. say I said that. She doesn't listen. Ano ba? She doesn't listen. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, we watched together to sobrang intense and like, alam mo yung naka-hyper-acidity ako after. Oh, man. <laughs> Talagang, even like, yung nung nagka three points na, that three points that made it uh, a oh. tie, Talagang, oh, galing mo mag-explain galing ng no. sports, no? Galing ko. Adamson, uh, Adamson sorry, sorry. player, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with all their names. Hit a three-pointer. Oh, at the, in the, at that the, made it a tie, diba? To tie it up. <laughs> that made, made it a tie. tie. <laughs> that made it a tie to send Oy. it into overtime. Yeah, there we go. And Adamson was actually, in overtime, was up by six points. And overtime's only five minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. They were up by six points with like three minutes left. Right. And UP was able to catch up. I know. Ang galing ni Ang galing. Ano, Paul Desiderio. And there's even like at, at one point in the game, there was like a 14-point lead. Just yeah. nakahabol yung Adamson. Yeah, yeah. And Which, by the way, quarter. that was really good That's also. True. It was Grab a good game. It. it was a good game. Kasi parang for me, I mean like, as an athlete, athlete before, and I, I mean, obviously, I was, an, I didn't play basketball, but I know the feeling of you might disheartened ka because you know you're already losing anyway. Yeah. Alam mo yun. But for them, dito kasi nagpatalo until the end. Yeah, you see, Paul Desiderio, yeah. so good. Like he's mm. so. Ano mo about Desiderio? Madame, madame. <laughs> Kit ng <So>. Griffin. <laughs> but a dude, he yeah. has big dick I know. energy. I know. I don't. I want to. I feel like he has a big big schlong. <laughs> Cause we the, are talking about this. Because the amount of confidence that he has, <laughs> the, no, the amount of confidence he has I to know. shoot the shots that he did. Yeah. He was like, if I if I was if I'm getting my facts right, mm. he was he was like two for like sixteen, meaning he missed fourteen yeah. shots, and then he but, hits two shots in a row in the clutch, like mm, most important mm-hmm. situation. That just to me, if you're shooting that bad, yeah. You know, so most people would be like, shit, I'm not shooting oh, that well. Na, I should pass na, it. No, but he said, I'm going to shoot know, this. Right? So, shout out to Paul Desiderio and his girlfriend and the UP men's basketball team. <laughs> and too. obviously, all of them, diba? Galing, galing. My gosh. I forgot the guy. Who, 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 who had the layup? The, the layup that uh, put them up. The UP. I I went, like, spinning. Oh, anyway, that was yeah. a good shot too. Yeah. And a lot of clutch baskets. Sobra. UP's really defense good. is actually really good. So yeah. they're going to be playing by, by uh, the time Ateneo. of this recording. Uh, they would have already played the first game. So we don't know who won. You already know who won by yeah. the time this comes out. But UP and Ateneo, who are you going for? <laughs> Obviously. UP. I, I, I'd be rooting for UP. But my brother, kasi, he went to Ateneo his whole life until high school. Okay. And then now he's in UP. And I was asking him, so yeah. who are you going to root for? Uh-huh. He was like, okay, when it comes to UP and Ateneo, I'm going to root for Ateneo. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> tapos kami bigyan ng, ng slot dito sa UP. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean I understand. I remember before uh, when I was like, when I was still in high school or grade school, mm-hmm. we would have UAP, right? And it would always be UP uh, Ateneo La Salle. Yes. And we would be at Ateneo family as in before the uh, blessing or after yung mm-hmm. blessing of the food. Meron kaming Lord, sana po manalo yung <laughs> Ateneo sa UAP. <laughs> Swear we had that before. Really? Ganun kami ka, ano, oh, wow. before. And it's a big deal yeah. here. It is, it is. And it's, it's actually really fun. And you know what? I was just saying na people now in UP are really, really lucky. Kasi it's been how many years? Yeah, 36 like something years? Like that, something, like that. something like that. Since their last uh, championship. Or actually just in the finals, right? I'm not sure the facts. Um, but it's been a long yeah, time. Yeah, it's been a long time. So I... I feel like the students now are really lucky because it's really you feel the school spirit. Eh. Mm. I mean, obviously, we feel it CBC, ganyan, but this time, it's really like it's been a long time. Do you think, though, I just question, Okay. how do you feel about bandwagon fans? Are you a bandwagon fan? It, it's okay if you tell me you're... Do you want but a bandwagon? I, sakin kasi, but do you know what it is? Do you know yeah, what I know what it is. Okay, so to people who might not know it, a bandwagon fan is when, you, when your team is doing well. Yeah. Finally. That's when you suddenly get on the bandwagon but because they're successful. But for me, when it comes to UP, because you study in UP, who are you going to... But what, I'm, what I mean to say is, last year, were last you cheering year. as hard? Because I didn't really... Two years ago. That's why. Wala, that's, why wala, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm asking you, are you a bandwagon fan? Are you riding now because they're doing well? And well, am I it's not a, supposed to? No. What I'm, that's what I'm saying is, if you're, it, you're oh, just, so did you just I'm, start supporting wholeheartedly 
because they were they were they were winning yeah. the season. So because you are in essence. I'm not. It's not a bad thing. I know it's not a bad thing. But it's just that by association, yes, you can cheer for them. But what I'm saying is, there are people who are diehard. UP oh yeah, fans definitely. Who have been fans throughout the zero seasons, mm. the crappy seasons? Mm-hmm. So, are you a bandwagon? I'm just asking. Yeah, so I am. Okay, that's not bad because I, and, kasi, in my it's opinion, good because you're you're new UP, you're UP naman talaga. Yeah. So it's okay. In my opinion, kasi parang so are you not supposed to? Because before, no. inisip ko din yun eh, na parang oh, actually I don't even tweet it or whatever. Exactly. I just I just talk about it because parang. Number one, hindi pa ako marunong sa basketball, basketball lingo right. or whatever. Yeah, because they shoot the three to to make the overtime. Ano sabi mo? Ano sabi ko? To make a tie. <laughs> to make a tie. <laughs> <laughs> Yan, yung mga ganyan. Mm. Hindi, okay. kasi ako, parang yun nga, school right. spirit. Yung parang hindi ko to na feel when I was in college. Yeah. And so, I, want it, I, want, I want to feel it now. I, that's why I'm happy for all the UP people. But I, I would like to just say lang, it, if you're gonna support them through their ups... From now on, yeah. you better support them through their downs. Mm. I think it's gonna have a lot of ups because next year I think UP has like si Kobe para Kobe para Satsiana, si Richie Rivero yata, mm-hmm. who are good basketball players if I'm not mistaken. I'm not super familiar. Yeah. But once they start losing, you better start tweeting go UP. Yeah. Atin far five, five. <laughs> atin five. Atin <laughs> five. Or whatever. You know what I mean? I just saying, actually I didn't even I'm happy tweet. that UP now is getting more fans because yeah. of this season. But I hope that if you're fans through this season, you better be fans throughout You know the what? Rest. I'm actually what I'm saying. hoping more, not even like the fans lang. Parang, sana they get more support, support. when it comes to like, alam mo yun, um, like where they train, alam mo yun. Yung mga, Ay, yung mga parang, facilities? Yeah, yung but facilities. I think, don't, don't you guys have, ano? I don't know anything to um, say. I know I Ateneo the, and La Salle are really well known for having, you know, they, they obviously they're private schools. Yeah, but I think, you know, they could get more Probably. Know, from the alumni or something that's like that. True. They deserve it, that's obviously. True. Yeah. And if they sponsorship from brands, that yeah. would be really cool. Grabbing UP and a fandom yesterday. At Uh-oh. least on the game, you can really Kasi see parang, it. Alam mo yung... That's why I was cheering for Adamson. Because I like, well... In, you like and, the underdog? I love the, an, uh, the but underdog. But they're not the underdog <laughs> no, naman eh. Technically, UP was the underdog <laughs> in terms of the rankings. But if you watched the, if you saw the arena, you, know, you would feel oh, like yeah. Adamson was done. Oi, pero on dami kaya nila. Kaya this this week, this time I'm going for UP because Ateneo is the favorite, dude. Yeah. Ateneo is really good. So, Actually, we'll see. Yeah. But you know, you never know. Maybe they already lost this past Saturday depending on this recording. We don't know yet. Oh, so, we'll yeah. see, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, and yeah. there were some memes, Actually, right? yeah, there were memes that I saw <coughs> uh, regarding the UAAP men's basketball um uh game yesterday. Mm-hmm. So wait, let me just pull it up from a screenshot. Okay. Okay. So actually, this is my friend. So <laughs> yeah, my whole feed RN. Yeah. Tapos yung picture ni Rose. That's yung Rose from Titanic. Yeah, Rose from Titanic. Na old na siya. So <laughs> nakalagay, it's been thirty-two years. <laughs> uh, and then na. the obvious one is wala mo ng rally sa UP or something like That's that. Yung mga true. Ganun, yung right. mga. And then there's this one um, parang conversation okay. from. Uh, koala B. Okay. Sabi niya, partner assigns tasks and then same partner reminds about deadlines and submissions for the day. Also, that partner sends UAAP memes on Viber. <laughs> Comes into my room every X minutes to discuss UAAP. Because uh, that's why like, I'm saying that. Like, hindi sila yeah, And, I also know that yesterday, UB Manila suspended classes uh, after uh, after 12 noon. Oh. So yeah, they did. So parang I'm guessing parang kasi hindi din naman kayo magfo-focus, just watch the game. Can you also talk about real quick? I know you saw you said something about earlier to me before we recorded. Uh, in La Salle, they Oh, they, no. Can I just oh, so can yeah, I just finish the uh, meme? Finish, the, finish meme. the meme. Just this last one. Yung feeling na hindi kayo exempted sa finals. I mean, ah, cuz you know how I mean should. in college, but you want to be exempted mm. in the finals, but for basketball, we don't want to be exempted. That's true. <laughs> we just want to be. And then yesterday something or maybe I think today yeah. Okay. Um. Someone posted na parang LaSalle and USD lit up their buildings red or mm. maroon um, for the win of UP okay. uh, of the UP team. Uh, apparently, it's not for that. It's just okay. a happy coincidence. Just it's happened. nice to know. I what mean, is it though? What was the What was the actual it's, reason? It's um, actually the Christian color of martyrdom. Um. So it's a Red Wednesday. Aims to spread awareness about Christian. Persecution worldwide, and to honor those who have been persecuted for their faith. Wow. So it's a it, it was a coincidence that it was right, and but it was also really like an important you know 
thing to bring up. Okay. So that happened in La Salle and USD. Kaya ang dami tulo, uy, ano ka, fake news ka. <laughs> <laughs> Parang, relax guys, nagkamali lang. Yeah, so that's what happened uh, for the, the, that's what was trending this week. Uh, so next week, maybe we'll probably talk more Ooh. about it. Oh, Can happened? I just bring something up go, go, again? Go. Like one trending thing was the, <coughs> the trailer of uh, Thank You Next. Ah, uh, you know, Ariana yeah, Grande. Yeah, of Ariana Grande. And I cannot wait because I feel like... I think she included YouTube stars in it also. I think so. And Troy Sivan's there too. Yeah, to see Colleen Bollinger and everything. I don't know who Colleen... See, ano, see... What do you call it? Yung malaking red lips. Yung ma ma ma. What's that again? Anyway. Shabay, let's get some shoes. Siya ba yun? Yung malaking red lips. Oh, I don't know. I anyway. Don't know so, yeah. Um, so, I'm excited for that. Okay. Um, wala lang. It's a, it's a Mean Girls theme kasi. Yeah. yeah. So, he, they actually brought back the guy from Mean Girls. And the girl. Yung ano, yung naka wheelchair ba yun? Or something? Hmm? Or yung kasama nung naka wheelchair na girl? Uh oh. Yeah, basta. Uh-oh. That girl was there. Okay. Uh, so hopefully, well, maybe we'll talk know, about it next. Right. It hasn't wait. come out yet, right? Yeah, it's just a trailer. So oh, okay. it was really nice. All right. So moving on to our Gatas question. Uh, we did say that we were going to, excuse me, <coughs> talk about love. But uh, maybe not, because I want to do a whole podcast. With oh, yeah, 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 But yeah. we will answer one question. This what's, one, what's this word? Oh, no. That's the, the Twitter handle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Ice, E-I-S-S on okay. Twitter says, uh, have you ever fallen in love with a friend? With a friend? <coughs> oh. Have you, Rika G G G? Yeah. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you gonna we tell us We were friends story? first. Uh, actually, we were teammates in swimming. Cause like, ano eh, parang majority of my my life talaga was I was in a swimming team. Okay. So sila talaga friends ko ganyan. So I had a crush on this one guy. <clears throat> na obviously didn't have a crush on me, but for me it was love already. Cause wow. parang alam mo yung umiiyak Wait, ako. What, can hurt. you give us a? How old were you? Like what frame? What I'm gonna say fourteen. Okay, teenagers. Yeah, okay. fourteen, fifteen. Then, <coughs> parang I wanna say it's like a really intense infatuation to love. Alam yes. mo yun, that that border. So yeah, um, I really felt as in like strong feelings towards this person. <laughs> it's really awkward because I see them all the time and like Still? swimming. No, oh no, I saw no, them I all know. the time in their swimming trunks and me in my swimsuit. Alam mo yun, Did parang, the guys wear like the yeah speedos? speedos. Yeah. Oh, shit. Because it's less drag. Pag ganun, That's true. Or Do, if if they're going to um, wear something longer, it needs to be Don't they shave their legs? Yeah. Everything? Some people, all their hairs? Yeah. Like some legs people shave and, their legs, arms, and armpits. So that... No hair. So that... Walang drag. Walang drag so water. Yeah. Kami din, ganun. Pinapashave kami para no drag. But Dr- shave or wax? Shave or wax. Or wax. Anything. Yeah. Um, Parang onti na nga lang, pati eyebrows. Some people actually put their swimming caps until their eyebrows. Okay. Para walang ano. I shaved my legs before by accident. Uh, that's another story. That's a story for another day. Accident. Okay. So anyway, how do you shave your legs by no, okay. accident? Okay. Okay. Just a, just how I got into it. I won't tell the whole story. Okay. There was a shaver in our bathroom. I think mm. it was my cousin shaver. That was not. In the, like in the actually, I've never. I've never. Like there, slip kind. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. There was a shaving cream there. Uh, I've never shaved my mm. anything before. <laughs> okay. So nice I, to know you. <laughs> No, so I put, I, I just tried it out. I uh, put it on my leg. I didn't uh, know how smooth the shaver yeah. was. So, isang ganun, there was yeah, a whole strip of, of my leg with no hair. Technology. So I had to, so I had to commit fully. <laughs> <laughs> okay, move on. Back to your story. Oh, yeah. so, okay, yeah, so you saw him every day. So I saw him every day, and obviously he had another crush, and it wasn't me. Tapos, alam mo yung sobrang ang arte ko talaga dati. Umiiyak ako while swimming so nobody would see my tears. What? <laughs> That's real? Yeah! You yeah. were actually crying I while I was crying swimming. while like underwater kasi nobody would see my tears. <laughs> that, what? Is that physically possible? No, hindi. Kasi basa yung face No, what eh. I mean to say is when you're underwater, do tears still come out? I don't know, but Just like, alam mo yung feeling that you're crying. You know what? I was crying, and I can't even believe that I cried for that person. Because parang ngayon. <laughs> thank you, next. No, thank, thank you, there. next. But you never, nothing ever. Um, no, there, came no, into no, no, nothing from ever happened. I didn't even tell Why? him. Why? Because you didn't make him. Oh, so you until even, now. Uh, yeah, I didn't even. T- uh, no, no, no. Actually, I think someone told him. But you didn't tell him. I didn't tell him. Uh, I think someone else like dropped the ball or something. But yun um. Yeah. Okay. That was a really strong emotion, I, and I could actually still feel it now. Here's a question, though. This okay. is what I wanted to t- touch upon in the like the bigger love mm. podcast. How at four you were at like thirteen, fourteen? Yeah. How did you know like 
that this was l- love, love, right? I mean, obviously. And did you do you feel that definition of love at fourteen is the same as your definition? No, of love no, now? no. It's different, right? Yeah, it's different. Okay, I right. realized that a lot of things were different. Yeah. A lot of the things that I felt when I was, you know, in my teenage years were different now. Mm-hmm. Nah, I thought they were like, let's say, I thought that was love, right. but really it wasn't. But then again, I don't want to dismiss myself. Naman, I didn't love you. And what I felt before, I felt it, and I I want to accept that it's love. You know, I don't want to like brush it away and be like brush it off and be like new love. I've always call uh, for me that my definition of love. I, I've always seen mm-hmm. it as very dynamic, meaning so that you're at 13, you're at mm-hmm. 14. If you are in love with someone at that time, yeah. that l- definition of love for you is love at that time. Yeah, at that time. Uh, then if it doesn't work out, obviously, I think. Well, when when love doesn't work out, usually mm-hmm. it changes mm-hmm. your perception for better or for worse. Yeah. Usually for better, hopefully for the hopefully better. Hopefully for better. So I think that mm-hmm. love changes. Your definition of love always changes throughout yeah. your life. Actually, but at the moment, in the moment, it's real and mm-hmm. it's 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 what you. But you that's what define. you feel. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I totally agree, and I super duper hated it before when I would express my feelings, like let's say to my sisters or to my parents. Mm. Now I feel this way, and then they would dismiss it, like. What do you know about this? You're still a kid. I mean, you know, even if you're a kid, you still have feelings. Uh-huh. And it's not nice if people dismiss... Ay, sorry. May laway. Ay, may laway sa laptop ko. Kalo mo naman ang dinis ng laptop mo. Anyway, uh, parang it, it felt so bad na parang people dismissed my, my emotions and mm-hmm. feelings. Na parang feeling ko tuloy, hindi totoo. So, you know. Uh. You know, yeah. it's just I don't know. For me, but I would never do that to a to a kid. But you're always person. open to sharing your you know, feelings with your. With no, you na nga eh. Whenever when I did, that's na dismiss. I you know I closed that like na close up. Ano tag mo dun? Parang nagano ko. Have you like, ever introduced a uh, boy, a boy or a girl? I don't know, a boy or girl to your family. Um, once. Okay. My prom date. And then really? I really had a crush on him, like super big crush. Okay. My my parents were just like super quiet because they don't know how to react initially. That's what I see like all the time mm. whenever something different happens. But yeah, um, what do you call this? Yeah, um, when nung pinakilala ko, they're just like, okay. But I know in their head something is happening. They already have all of these thoughts. Yeah. All they want from me is my safety, That's true. especially before, because mm. hormones, alam mo yung para experimenting. Uh, so, to reverse yeah. the question, have you uh, fallen in love with someone who maybe wasn't your friend? Mm-hmm. And then maybe it didn't work out, but now you're still friends. I guess that's a good question to mm. ask. Have, no? Do you believe in, like, can you be friends with your ex? Oh, yeah. I, I had strong feelings with this one person before, and okay. now we're friends. Okay. Now, and I could actually say that we are just friends now. But was now. it a serious thing, though? No, no, no. Actually, okay. he knew, and I didn't tell him, but he knew because it was so strong. Yung parang halatana. Um, Alam mo oh, but yun, you were never parang... together. No, we were never together. Okay, my question is, if you have you ever been with somebody where you were together? Like, either official, I mean, for a good mm. amount of time, officially, even yeah. unofficially, but you I were can't, together. Ano kasi, I can't be friends with my ex. That's what I was saying yeah, too. I can. You know what? You I, know what? We're good. Like we're civil, yeah. but I can't be like, "Oi, alala mo nung tayo pa." Yeah, some, <laughs> some, we have some friends, and they are like very comfortable. Yeah. they're like they buddy buddy. Yeah, with buddy the, buddy. Parang I don't know how. Pa yung kung sino yeah, I don't I know can. how that works. It's so because okay. Uh, I, admittedly, I've had four real girlfriends. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've only kind of stayed in touch with one. Okay, but even with that one. Uh, it's not like we hang out all the time. All right. And it's not like, hey, dude, what's going on? Like, oh, yeah, by the way, this is what's going on in my life. You know, yeah. if we see each other, what's up? What's up? If, if maybe uh, she'll reply to my Instagram story, okay, cool, haha. Right. Uh, but that's it. Like, I, I don't yeah, know. I, know. I, just, I cannot, I feel like outside of those little, mm-hmm. little interactions, I, I cannot do it. Not because I'm still in love with them. Yeah. Ako but din it's just so awkward. Yeah, it is. It's if like, that makes sense. And for me, kasi, my mindset is, I'm already... You know, you were already part of my life. Yeah. So, and that's it. Like, I don't want you like to be done, part right? of my you're life done. forever. Yeah, because if, if they were still supposed to be part of your life, you probably wouldn't have ended uh, Yeah. Get, ended, exactly. Ended, uh, ended it. But obviously, we don't judge people who can be no, friends with No, because there are people, and it's so crazy. Some people, exes. like, they are, like, best friends yeah. with their exes, which is yung, cool. Parang yung tipong nasa kasal yeah. pa nila, which, is, which I get, which, which I don't understand, but mm-hmm. if I see people, I think that's really cool. Yeah. But it's just like, I, for me, personally, mm-hmm. I can't do it. I know. Me, I, you know what? I know it sounds very, you know, very superficial, but I can't get past the fact that 
let's say you were you know intimate. <laughs> you guys did it. <laughs> yeah. Let's say you were intimate. <laughs> I have seen you naked. Nicky, <laughs> Nicky. I've seen you naked, naked, naked. <laughs> And it's just like, man, and, and you know, like especially imagine if your ex and your mm-hmm. friends mm-hmm. and they're like they introduce you to their new boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw oh, your girlfriend naked. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, ah. uh, not a uh, moonwalk, <laughs> pala guys. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> so how'd you guys meet? Uh, moonwalk. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I totally get, get it. Get yeah. It, uh, so, uh, but to answer, um, sorry, wait, the name, uh, da, 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 Miss Ice's Ice. question. <clears throat> I have never uh, fallen in love with somebody who was my friend first. Never. Oh. Yeah, I, all the girls that I've dated, uh, well, for real right. and, and, they were... and casually. I know that this ca- the word casual dating is thrown mm. around a lot. But you know, girls that I maybe just you know, even I even attempted to date, right. I didn't really know them before. You right. know, I didn't I didn't ever date someone I met in high school and we were friends Wait, for a while. Have you ever been on a blind date? Uh, no, my cousin has though. Mm. Uh, have you? That's interesting. No, nah, I, I can't. I'm scared. <laughs> I feel like blind dates here are not such a big thing. Yeah. Uh, well, well, I think everywhere now because it's it's still no. It's, but technically, when when you're on Tinder, it's kind Bumble. of a, it's kind Bumble or Tinder. But, no, it's like you're kind date, of on a blind date. Kind of, but blind date is you specifically don't know what the person looks like. Ah, uh, okay. Um, but in Bumble and Tinder, which I have used <laughs> many, many times, uh, which I want to talk about sad, in, a, in a longer, sad, sad life. in a longer podcast, <laughs> oh, yeah. I will make sure to detail every experience okay. on there. But uh, the oh, uh, I will acknowledge though okay. that I have become friends with people that I dated. Casual, okay. but never fell in love with, or, right. or like had an emotional like dated was, casually, no, quote unquote. No, like you know, dated casually. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> dated casually, dated casually, quote unquote. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just feel like it was. Um, I mean, obviously, you're gonna stay friends with them because. What? Uh, no, because, it's not because, because you know, you, like there are some benefits. No, that no, no, you still okay, no. Just to, to uh, just to uh, clarify, <laughs> even if there was no more hanky panky, okay, okay. we are still okay friends, mm. and like there's no more need for hanky panky. Mm. But it's not like mm. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> no, it's true, it's true, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, but, okay, I get but, it, I get uh, it. Yeah, in terms of the being friends with somebody who you dated for mm-hmm. real, like we did mention. I can't. I don't think. Yeah, I can ako then I can't. Uh, but uh, I guess we have. I mean, a... we're not being mean, right? No, I don't. Well, it's our but, own personal thing. Uh, yeah. People can't get mad at yeah. how we feel. Uh, if people are, you know, right. do do it themselves, or they have mm-hmm. their friends with their, that's cool too. Mm-hmm. Actually, we would like to hear from. from I know, people right? Like that because, like, how yeah. does it feel? Yeah, or, like, what's friend, the dynamic? One of our friends. I don't want to mention any names. Is friends with like all most of their yeah. exes, and then they're just like. They they bring it like they go they host their wedding and shit. I know like, what? it's so weird. It's so crazy. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's just so I don't know. It's so different. Yung ibang hindi ba ni pa ng anak nila? Yeah. Yung mga ganon na parang ako. Yeah. Ooh, good. How, good for you. Ninong, but how did you mean? I saw your mama naked. <laughs> just kidding. I know. I know. It's just very. It's it's, it's such a. It's just a funny thing to focus on. Yeah, but yeah. I can't. I can't. But it's just you know you can't shake off that fact. Uh, you know? Well, since we have more time, I guess All I can right. talk about online dating. So online dating, just real quick. Uh, so Tinder, of course, was like the 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 most. This is the most famous yeah. app. Uh, there's an app called Bumble, which is cool too. That's where they. But it's where, mostly like for the guys well, because the girls would have, have to, mess- to. Yeah. They well, have but to- it's actually also for the girls too because the girls have the the discretion to message first. Uh, so oh, Bumble right, is an app. Right. It's kind of like Tinder where you you swipe left, swipe Parang right. Parang eliminate yung mga sleazy. Mm-hmm. Yung mga, no, no, yeah, it yeah. takes away the guy's uh, ability to message first, whether it yeah. be a sleazy message or mm-hmm. an opening line. The girl is the one who takes the initiative to True. message first now. At least for at least this is for when a guy and a girl mm-hmm. match because they, they can also match guy and guy. Yeah, I think if it's guy girl, guy yeah. and girl girl, it, it it works both ways. Right. Yeah. But if it's guy girl, the girl has to message first, and I think this works in the favor of both parties. Okay. Because first of all, the girl if she messages first, because I, I don't know about you, Rika. I don't think has ever used a dating app, but if you've checked, if you just Google go on YouTube mm-hmm. and search hot girl Tinder or something, right? Right. Every swipe that she has, or every swipe right, which okay. is a like, it's a match. If you're oh, wow. a, if you're an attractive girl, you will get matched by almost every guy. Every that's guy. just that, that's just how it works. Whereas if you're a guy, unless you're super like 
you know, like Michael B. Ryan Jordan. Gosling. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's their it, girls are more selective right. in their in their choosing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also, so feeling way ko yung victim dito. No, I'm just <laughs> no. What I mean to say, <laughs> what I'm saying is, if a girl matches you mm. and messages you first, for most guys, that's a good sign that she actually took the time to to see your profile, see your profile yeah. read it, and then maybe she actually thinks, oh, this guy seems like right. a cool yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it, for for and then for the girl, at least now she doesn't have she's not mm-hmm. bombarded with all these guys. Mm-hmm. So even if she does. Swipe right all the time. She can pick and choose yeah. who she wants it's a, to talk like, to. It's like in her power. Yeah. Actually, um, I have a really close friend who uses Bumble a lot, and okay. uh, sometimes I use it too <laughs> yeah. in behalf of her. Yeah. Oh, um, you you swipe for her. Yeah, I swipe okay. for her, right. and then I see all the conversations, and they're really like, alam mo yung real conversations. Usually, that's what. Yeah, well, that's so the parang, trend in Bumble. Kasi. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it's it's harder to be, I guess, mm-hmm. very aggressive mm-hmm. because on Tinder. If, especially the guys, they'll yeah. message first, right. and uh, usually it's a hey, hey, Uh-oh, sexy. That's yeah. what they. That's what you know. I've uh-huh. seen on from my friends. Too. That's what you've seen. No, I don't message <laughs> hey. Okay, my oh, okay. I, let me go through my What's game. Your opening? Okay, What's your opening? Oh, my opening. Right okay, go, go, I can go. do a whole podcast on uh, online, whatever. But when I first started, my opening was hey, and then their name okay. with like. 12 exclamation points. No. Yeah. Why? That because seems so, like... It's not aggressive. It's more like... It's exciting. Like, I, no, it's like, I wonder if this guy knows who I am. Like, parang he knows who I am. Ah, I know, I'm giving trade tactics. secrets, boys and girls. <laughs> and then... <laughs> and then, and then, I'm and sure then. The, my, my, my former Tinder yeah. matches will attest to this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I have a serious question to ask you. Oh, we got no serious ulu. Ano yun? Ano yun? Ano yun? Ano yun? Do you like pineapples on your pizza or something oh like that? Oh my god! You gotta make it. <laughs> you make it food related. Vinyl up muy. It's true. It's true. true. Okay, fine. And then they're fine. like, oh, witty, witty, witty. Well, if it works on you, witty, witty, I guess witty. It does. But this was in the glory days of Tinder. But now it's <laughs> not. It's not so. Oh, uh, not anymore. It's not as uh, popular. Popular? I don't know. Actually, I was waiting for this time. Na parang nag die down na yung Tinder and Bumble, so that people would just, you know. Uh, meet up personally. <laughs> but that's the thing. Okay, here here's another thing that I want to talk about uh, in no, but deeper must... detail in the future. Okay. How it's hard to meet people nowadays. Mm-hmm. Uh, whether it be because of your work schedule. Unless you're a very social person where yeah. you go out and you hang out and with And you different... can actually say, hey, my yeah. name is yeah. it, it It's very difficult mm-hmm. to True. meet people. Yeah. And I think the world of uh, online dating is making the world parang mas mali. It, it's smaller. It's smaller, yeah. And... That works in a good way, but mm-hmm. also, I guess, in a bad way. Because there's this book by Aziz Ansari, mm-hmm. uh, the comedian. And uh, his first chapter in his book called Modern Romance, I think. Okay. It's very telling. It's, it's actually very insightful. Uh, whether it's true or not. Whether you believe in it or not. So back in the day when there was no internet, mm-hmm. uh, people had to go out and meet yeah. people. Otherwise, you couldn't meet people. But now... The world is at your fingertips. Mm. You can actually literally swipe from to people across the world. Yeah. So which means that your options are more are less limited mm. now. Uh, it could be a good thing in that you can meet more people, mm. but it's also could be detrimental in meaning that you have you know that burden of choice. Yeah. Even though I'm not saying that you you have all the choices mm-hmm. in the world. But you have so much. Your world is like expanded to yeah. the point where you're like you can't handle I've, it anymore. No, well, to the point where you're like. I feel like I, there's so much, so many more fish in the sea. You know that saying, there's yeah, many yeah, more yeah. fish in the sea. Back in the day, it was just a pond. Yeah. Literally, you, you only can hang out with the fish in that right, pond. Right. But now you have the whole fucking ocean. I, I get it. Right? I get it. I totally get it. And now, like, even even now, like, we see it on, on a lot of people, like, even our friends, family, na parang their partners or people's partners can't even, like, stay yeah. where they are yeah. because they know that there's a whole ocean out yeah. there. Na parang, like let's say kunwari, you get a divorce and mm. legally parang okay naman nag separate kayo diba yeah, yeah, yeah. pero parang wala na tuloy yung yung sadness or like that 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 whole feeling na mm. i spent a part of my life with this this person because nga nag-enjoy na siya with that ocean ocean right in the ocean uh, and also in the in that book uh, which i recommend by the way um, is that where he um talked about his date yung parang nag nag call ano what do you mean? Yung nagsabi na parang he harassed me. No, no, no. That's 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 uh that, that, that was a, that, that scandal was mm-hmm. after he released the book. That's mm-hmm. what actually 
Well, now he's uh, you know he's he's kind of lo- uh, lying low right yeah. now. Whether you agree or not with that uh, mm-hmm. thing, uh, it w- it's 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 still a, a tarnish yeah. on his reputation. True. But this was published beforehand, uh, so the book I think is is still very good. Yeah. Um, and in that first chapter, first second chapter, it also shows you know how older couples, well not old, not all, not generalizing, mm-hmm. but our parents' generation, they married pretty young. Most yeah. most most people married young. Because at that time, that that's that's what it was. Like you, it was this yeah, person that you, you found knew. the person you love, then you it. married yeah. them. But now we have this feeling like you know maybe there's more. We're out there. There's you're a, missing out on. Grass something. is greener on the other yeah. side. You never know, mm-hmm. and maybe that's something that this the whole internet thing. Uh, maybe it's offered. A, may, it's it, it's offered it, but is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? It's really up to you. Yeah. To decide. Some people are all about you know living their their best life and yeah. having all these you know. You know, like being able to live the, and, live live out these dreams of meeting right. people from all over the and, world. You know, live all the pleasures yeah. in life. But some people are just all about the. I guess well, in this case now, the old old school mm-hmm. mentality. I'm not. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen anymore. It's still not common. But people can really, if people settle down early, they they are kind of going against the the grain, the grain now. Yeah. Which is which is I don't know. It's it's interesting. So to all the leche fans and uber babes out there, let us know what you think. Yep. Uh, just tweet us. Uh, we we will do a one love podcast. Soon. I know. But like you know a, that would be, that would be perfect for February. Like like oh like Valentine's, Valentine's right? We will have a Christmas episode by oh, the yes, way in a couple we of weeks. Can we have like food or something? You know we need food. That's true. Oh the, the oh I I ordered cassava cake or I got uh, sent cassava cake. But I'm gonna order again from Mango Ooh. Grill. <gasps> oh, check out amazing. my Instagram. Not the Hala Hala Instagram, but my that Instagram. Looks amazing, oh, it's actually. so. I mean, it's not. It wasn't even a paid plug. Like they, yeah. they didn't pay me. Uh, they Anything. just sent it to me. And I just tried. Oh, and I want to buy it again. Yeah, it's so fucking good. And super perfect. Yun for ano ah for Christmas, Christmas parties. Yeah, it's, it's really good. So wala lang. Uh, but yeah, I, that that does it for this Yay! mix number eleven. But of course, we'd like to well, let's shout out some people. May mga shout outs pa tayo. We always are so bad at getting shout outs. Do you have shout outs? Oh. Wait. What? Someone texted you? No. Oh, you're looking for shout outs? Yeah. Uh, shout out, of course, to our God is a question asker, Miss, Miss Ice. Ice. Uh, we did say that we were going to talk about love. Uh, sorry it wasn't a full podcast, uh, but we will. Yeah, as you can see, I have a lot, and Rika has a lot to say about it, too. Yeah. So don't worry. About what? About love. Oh, yeah. We got a lot coming. Um, saying hello to Raf, who actually agreed with you. With all the sayang na food. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. We were talking about, I think, last mix, how some people, we throw away food at the mm-hmm. end of the day, uh, whether you're a eater or a worker. And sayang, no? when, especially in restaurants and whatever. In buffets. Buffets. You're yeah, just they like, have to. Yeah. But I know there's this one. And the staff don't even get to eat it. Yeah. I asked most staff members of most buffets. They, they, don't, get, they don't get to eat the, the leftover food, which I think is so whack. I Why? know, it is. Why like not? It's, it's like perfectly good food. Yeah. Like, we could all eat and, it. Don't, yeah, don't you worry it. about me. It like make sense. I'm not going to sue the company if I get like a tummy ache or whatever. Yeah. Well, there's, I mean, if ever, they should just have like a disclaimer form yeah. or, or a waiver. Um, What's up to Mandela? Lopez and to Star Marjorie. Hello there. Star, Mar- Star Marjorie was the one who sent the picture of the Hala Hala. Oh, yeah, uh, really? Before. Okay, yeah. She's the one from Singapore. So, mm. hello there. Um, f- to MC, the MC Meneses. Oh, MC. Good morning. Spending my morning with the Hala Hala show. That's two days ago. So, good that's morning. Monday, right? Well, that was last, yeah, last mm. week. So, good morning if you're Hello. listening now. Hi to LJ Abadinas and to Sev B. Hello there, listening Sev to... Sev B was the one who asked the question last oh, time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He mm. was really happy that we featured his question. And to Yan Yan. Hello there, Sev My Monday night habit. Aw. Oh. I love that we're becoming a habit. That's now. true. And you know what? People who do approach us, we... I, I And I'm, it's, it really makes me happy that the people who've, who've seen me in public mm-hmm. and who did recognize me uh-huh. said I'm a leche fat I'm Yay! an ube so, I think, so diba? Yeah, I think it's so cool so if you see Rika or me just mm-hmm. say hey what's if you're especially if you're a podcast mm-hmm. listener, just say what's up I'm a leche fan dude that will really make our day it's really awesome yeah uh, like yeah. mag-appear tayo mm-hmm. <laughs> high, five. <laughs> high five high five high five <laughs> Carlos Esteban hello there Halo Halo Show is here. Sabi alone again, but no worries. The Halo Halo Show is here. Oh, Yeah. And to Nino Mauricio. Hello there. Um, Sabi nga, asking if we could guess Chico. I'm sure, I'm sure. One, one of day. these days. One day. Hello. When, when we're big time. Nandito na. lang siya. That's true. Diba? So yeah, just please uh, get your friends to listen. We, were, we made number 10 on Spotify Woo-hoo! Philippines uh, top podcast this week. So hopefully that trend continues. So we every listener helps. Every listen new listener yeah. helps. So yeah, please check that out. It's and a challenge for you guys, okay? Just yeah. guide 
isang tao lang. Or maybe like if you're in a Uber or I don't know what an Uber. If you're in a Grab, <laughs> whoa. If you're in a Grab and maybe your Grab driver has Spotify, just maybe tune it in. Maybe he'll yeah, like it, and then he'll play it throughout the day. And then new list. Eh, wala lang. Just uh-huh. try to get us out there. Mm-hmm. Spread us like or a like, spread kunwari. us like an STD. Kunwari. <laughs> oh my God! No, just, thank just you. Just pasok mo lang sa lahat mga uh, iTunes and uh, Spotify ng mga friends mo. Or like kunwari ko yung sounds guys sa isang event. Tapos nag 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 sound check kayo. <laughs> sound check. <laughs> Iplay yung kami. <laughs> <laughs> Mali pa kanina. Uh, uh, also, uh, we still have our um, bottoms up promo, yes. Hala Hala 50, which goes till the end of the year. So if you haven't bought a present yet and you can't think, maybe oh my whether do it as a gag gift mm-hmm. or just a real gift. I think and it's you awesome. know what? That would be really convenient. Yeah. Like, diba, alam mo yung mga countdowns na super daming tao. Okay. Di ba yung mga kanwari sa Eastwood may mga countdown? Tapos? Tapos super daming tao. Tapos mahaba yung pila. And yeah. like walang bidet. Okay. Pwede kang magdali ng bidet mo. Yes, diba? that's true. So, buttons up. B-U-T-T-O-M-S-U-P dot C-O. Buttons. Or just search buttons up on uh, uh, Lazada. You can get 50 pesos off if you use the code HALO, HALO50. All caps. Mm-hmm. Bang, bang. Uh, thank you to Mikkel, our microphones. Yay! Mikkel, you can buy them on Lazada for less Mikkel than one time. Mikkel, that rhymes with... Zickle. I was about to say it, you bitch. No, no. No, no, no. And uh, don't forget to follow us. Uh, we are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube at The Halo Halo Show. Except for Instagram, Instagram which is Halo Halo Show. Uh, do tweet us use the hashtag the Hala Hala Show. we really love your tweets yes uh, so, we do uh, usually we get a lot of tweets on Monday mm-hmm. uh, or Tuesday because that's when the new mix comes out but if you are a late listener uh, and let's say you're listening to this on a Thursday please tweet us we really yeah, we really love no it when problem. people do it and what's really awesome is we we get that you're we have the feeling that you're listening yeah and we see numbers we see people are listening but we don't hear from all mm-hmm. of you so the more that we hear from you whether uh, you know whether it's just a nice hey hey we're listening yeah. or if you tweet us something specific about the mix we really love that yeah and it doesn't matter guys if you're like late to the party or whatever yeah, you just be, listen yeah. and you know tell us what you think about yeah, it yeah because this is going to come out December like 3 December 3. So yes. if you're listening in January of 2019 right now, okay. please tweet us. Uh, you know, just in the future. If you're listening right now, tweet us where you are and we'd love to. The future. It. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, you can follow Rika at Rika GGG. And you can follow him with, at it's me, JC. <laughs> it's me, JC. <laughs> I give a lot of GCs away. So check that. Actually, I think I might have a GC thing running right now as of the moment of this recording. Ah, so, na ba to? Ako din mamimi ko. Ano, may, may GCs ka <laughs> ano? ba? Ano ba GCs mo? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so look out for mix number 12 coming soon and also our Christmas... Uh, what should our we Christmas name? Christmas episode. What should we name it? What's a Christmas? Well, wait. Let's okay. We can ask the people to, you know, we can ask the Ube Babes and yeah, let us know like, if you have a tweet us if you have any suggestions for Christmas mix, Christmas special yeah. episode. Okay, okay, so we gotta Yay. head on in here. Ako nagagawa. Oh, okay, okay. Do 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 do